This module will go over the fundamentals of operating junctions to change the path your train will take, and how to navigate using the map. Most rail lines around the world are controlled remotely by a signaling center or dispatcher. From the perspective of the train, the direction taken is automatic. But within yards and depots, many small and frequent movements are required. This makes remote control of the track impractical. In these locations, the direction taken is manually controlled. You can set junctions by either walking up to them and interacting with them, or going to the 2D map and changing them from there. Let's change this junction by hand first. Walk over to it and change it by operating the lever. Notice how the point blades move on the track. Try moving it... Let's head over to the train, and then we can look at the map. Your junctions are set correctly. Let's get the train moving and see it all working. If you can't remember how to make the train start and stop, there is a training module you can rerun to remind yourself. Keep the brake control in release until you can see the brake pipe control needles are reading 5 bar, pointing upwards. Watch the brake cylinder, or BC gauge, to see it gradually reduced to zero which tells you that the brakes are now fully released and you can move the train. Apply some throttle to get the train moving. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground and the train will only slow down very gradually. Bring this train to a complete stop by holding the brake control in the apply state until you see the brake pipe control needle in the center of your cab desk showing about 4 bar. That concludes this module. All the junctions in the training center are manual, so you can go anywhere you wish using the map and by changing junctions manually. If you want to practice, go to Explore on Foot in the training center. You'll find trains dotted around, and you can practice driving them and moving them around the yard. Don't forget, you can always rerun this training module later if you can't remember any of what's been covered. Let's head over to the train, and then we can look at the map.
Try moving it a few more times until you can see how it works. Let's head over to the train, and then we can look at the map. Your junctions are set correctly. Let's get the train moving and see it all working. If you can't remember how to make the train start and stop, there is a training module you can rerun to remind yourself. Keep the brake control and release until you can see the brake pipe control needles are reading 5 bar, pointing upwards. Watch the brake cylinder, or BC gauge, to see it gradually reduced to zero which tells you that the brakes are now fully released and you can move the train. Apply some throttle. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground and the train will only slow down very gradually. This module will cover the on-screen overlay, known as the heads-up display or HUD, that is shown when you are in control of a train. Climb up the ladder into the locomotive and then sit in the... Welcome to the most important seat in the train. While sitting here, you'll be in full control. Before you think about moving the train, though, Let's look at the HUD overlay that's appeared on the bottom right. The heads-up display is a guide to what your train is doing. The main part of the HUD is the speed display. A white bar will appear around the outside to show your current speed, and the red mark indicates your maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power or throttle control is in. 
These are the brake indicators. The exact ones shown will vary by train and will often be visible in the train itself on various gauges. They tell you what's happening in the braking system. The most important one is the BC or brake cylinder. If that's reading zero, then your brakes are released. Anything else? And brakes are applied and you won't be able to move. Every train can have small variations in the HUD unique to the way it works, but they will mostly look the same. As you learn to control new trains, study the HUD and learn how it helps you operate it. If you want to see this again, you can rerun this training module at any time. Thank you.